everyone, my name is Jay, and I am back for another development log for my Roblox game, Glory and Gunpowder, a realistic historical shooter game set during the War of 1812. Since my last devlog, I have been working on making my game more historically accurate and working on bug fixes and model changes such as changing the building architecture more American instead of European, changing the lighting to seem more realistic, improving models and furniture, and new weapons such as the new saber and rifle. Now in this episode, I will be making my first battle for glory and gunpowder called Siege of Fort Detroit, a battle between the 4th Infantry Army Regiment versus the 41st British British Regiment of Foot at Fort Detroit. Now, because this battle is from both a long time ago and a not-so-known battle in a not-so-known war, it's hard to figure out what the fort really looked like, so it will be hard to make the map. I chose this design for the map for my game, and this is the same map I used for preference in my novel. Speaking of my novel, I didn't really talk about my novel at all during the first devlog, so I'm going to do a quick rundown right here. Glory, Guts, and Gunpowder is a novel taking place in the War of 1812 where Conway, a soldier in the United States Marine Corps, is stationed at Fort Detroit where a virus has been spread that turns people into feral cannibals. Conway must fight both the infected and the British to survive. That is a very small and very simplified summary of my novel. And before people comment saying I stole this idea from Guts and Black Powder, I didn't. Guts and Black Powder takes place in Europe where the undead rise up from the ground and kill people. And my novel is about a sickness called rabies that evolves that takes place in North America. And I had this idea for a while now, and I've been trying to make this book since 2020, and I'm still not done with it. It's been through different drafts, and I've restarted the book in different changes, but this is the final draft, and it will be released, released in June. Now that I explained my novel, what I'm going to do now is start making Fort Detroit. Now, if you want to participate in events, get development posts, and early access to my game, I suggest joining my Discord server. Link is in the description. People who join my Discord server will get the option to join Factions, a system I will be adding in the next devlog. So, sorry for that long intro, but a lot has changed since last devlog. I've already listed a couple of reasons, but here at this fort, which I have no name for as of now, it's a fictional fort, so it doesn't exist. I have an animating American flag right here, and I have changed this little corner area to look better. I guess you can call it a little bastion or a little palisade or whatever you want to call it, or a little platform. But yeah, I changed that, and another thing that I did was... Someone said that these houses or buildings look European, so I decided to change or start changing all the buildings to look like this. These are what colony houses look like. They were brick and had concrete edging and whatnot. So this is the first building that I made. It is a storage house or a powder house, whatever one you want, but it is kind of it's kind of roomy, I guess. But it does have a bunch of furniture, it has this small desk over here, and just some barrels and whatnot. And a cool feature that I will show you in just a little bit here is I added breaking glass. It sadly doesn't work when you shoot or hit it, but if you run into it, it will break. Now, right here is an actual house that I've made. It looks a little different, and it actually has both rimming or trimming, whatever you want to call it, and kind of like painted walls. And it has a fireplace. In here, just a small room. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cool for the new houses. And they'll also have like these little sheds on the side of the house or have just like an extension to the house in some sort of way. 
though, here are the colonized houses in game. So if we go right in here, I'm going to show off the window system. So if you just burn right through the window like so, there it is. And if you come right over here, jump right into here, and it breaks. Little shards go on the floor as well, which I think is pretty cool. And the player is actually short compared to the door, but it does have some a clean animation now, which I think is pretty cool. I added a door system while I was gone. Now, right here, I'm going to show you the lighting system as well. So around some lanterns, little bugs will fly around. And with fireplaces, the fire kind of like flickers, I guess I could say. It has a little flickering effect, which just like how real fires do. And I think this running into, you know, Windows features is honestly my favorite. Because you can literally just run right through them like this. Oh, I already broke that one somehow. But yeah, I think it's an amazing feature. Now that I just explained to you what I did when I was gone, now we're going to start making Fort Detroit. So, here is a map layout, I could say. It is pretty rugged, and it doesn't look nice. So right here is going to be the actual Fort Detroit itself. These black buildings are going to be the town as well. And this little blue thing right here, it will be the river. Now, this is not exactly up to size, I would say, and definitely some place, uh, some things are not in, in places where they should be. But right here, this is what I'm going to work on first for Detroit. And there will be a road going from here, and then there will be a road right here. There will be a church and some shops, I would say, right here. And then the rest would be random buildings that you could or uh, may or may not be able to go into right here will be a dock and a powder house this is the powder house that i just showed you guys over there will be placed right here so i think that'll be a pretty cool feature and i also want there to be naval battles this won't be in this fort uh, or this battle i would say at fort detroit but in the future there will be naval battles where on ships you would be able to fight and i think that is will be an amazing feature to make my game more unique. Now that I have this little layout done, let's actually start getting the building. So first we're gonna work on the actual fort itself. So this is what I'm gonna be working with. I will be working with palisades and some bastion walls. And here is gonna be our first building, which is again, the powder house, which I think looks pretty cool. Now here's some confusion because Fort Detroit is a not so known battle and because it was from a long time ago, there is no real images of what Fort Detroit looks like. Now, most say that it was made out of wood which is probably the most likely answer, but others say that it was made out of bastioned concrete. But at the moment, I'm going to currently work with palisade walls, and I might add a bastion area or some sort of way to put a bastion in the fort at one point to add, I'd say, detail of some sort. But for now, I'm just going to be making these palisades kind of like a little perimeter and it will be around the size of this little template right here. So the fort's going to be pretty big. It's going to be a pretty big fort. So that's going to be fun. And what I'm also going to start doing is working on barracks, which is basically this, if it was scaled to the size of this. Yeah, that's a pretty big, that's pretty big barracks. So I, they're about two to three stories tall. And... I won't fully decorate them at the moment. That will be at the end of the video. But uh, enough talking, and let's actually get right into it. All right, so this is the fort that I have so far. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but this looks weird. It really does. So I decided, instead of using the palisades, just to make the bastions so the bastions look 10 times nicer than this and um you guys will probably be in the comments saying this isn't historically accurate fort detroit was in made of wood well guess what this can be a placeholder because well like i said previously it's most most likely probably wood but others say that it's made out of you know brick and whatnot so i'm just going to keep it like brick because it's easier to build with and it looks nicer with the theme that i'm going with but in the future i could just switch it out maybe make this look nicer of some sort 
and maybe you know just switch it out and use this for another thing but right now this is what it looks like at the current moment what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a giant gate right here and then some other back doors like maybe a back door right here but right here we only have one back door and i think it looks pretty good to be honest with you all new models that I just made right here, some have even lights, as you can tell on the corners and whatnot, which I think is an amazing detail. So, I think I did pretty good with this, especially I only did it in 20 minutes, so that's pretty good timing, to be honest with you. And now, I'm going to make some new buildings, and there's also going to be some, like, target shootings, uh, whatever you call it. Like, I don't know, like a range. There we go, a range. And then, like, some crops and then, like, a, a barn. But, yeah. All right, let's get right into that. I made the barracks, which is a long house with two chimneys. I'm just going to show you the inside. So right here is the front room is what I'm going to call it. I think it looks pretty good, but I think it needs more, how should I say this, more decoration, I guess. But in here is where the actual soldiers will sleep. They have a weapon rack right here. They have beds. I think it's pretty good. And I actually put this place right here. I already started putting buildings in the fort where they're going to be. So this is going to be right dead center right here. And then I'm going to have the powder house. And I will expand these walls because... <laughs> I'm going to have a couple of buildings, and there's going to be like one giant one back here, which is going to be the officer's quarters, and then there's going to also be wooden buildings uh, made out of logs uh, down here. So I think that will look pretty good. While I was doing that, I worked on a blunderbust, which I think looks pretty cool. I did have a blunderbust in the game originally, but somehow it glitched out, and, you know it being a giant bug so i had to remove it but i now have it back in the game and this is what it looks like uh, the model will change though and this is what it sounds like pretty loud thing not gonna lie but it has a pretty long animation for it which i think is pretty reasonable for it being a blunderbuss you know its spread radius is pretty big it works just like how a blunderbuss would so this would be good for crowd control. Now, what I'm going to do is start making more buildings, such as the frame houses or the log houses, whatever I call them, over here. So let's get right into it. I got bored with making Fort Detroit, and I decided to make a temporary map called Ruins. This place is, yet again, a fictional map, but this stands as a test holder. So, this place actually has some lore with this little note written by a character. And around here has the essentials of what you would need to fight off an army. So, the Americans, or the Marines, spawn right in that little house, while the British soldiers spawn over the hills and far away. Over here, we have a campfire with a cool mechanic that if you step on it, you will die. I also have new clothing. This is Patriot clothing right here, and it is only temporary. Now, in my little hot bar or toolbar, as you can see, it has a bunch of new weapons that we're going to test out. Ah! After that small interruption of me catching a blaze, so we actually have an animated American flag that I already showed you, but this place over here you can't get into because I want it to be blocked off, and we have a little fort tower, I guess you could call it, a uh, watchtower that you can, you know, kind of get up here and shoot down on people, and we also have these little walls where people could, you know, crouch, I guess you could say, kind of like crouch like this to shoot over, which I think is a good effect for the game. Another thing that I want to show you is the new artillery that I made and the new little defenses. So we're going to first start with the defenses. So here we have spikes. If you were to run into these, you will catch damage as you see up there. And over here is our new artillery. And there is actually some more lore right here with this abandoned um, bloody text message, as you can tell. But now we have working artillery. So, uh, this is a better version of the old artillery that actually reloads after it is done shot. You know, done getting shooting, or whatever you want to call it, after it's fired. There we go. And now it's loaded and ready to fire. Now, here is my personal favorite right here. Click this right here, 
and the whole thing moves back. This is field artillery, and this is naval artillery. You'll mostly be um, working with the field artillery, and I think it's pretty good. And if you walk over to them just by clicking E or Q, you can go it up by clicking E and clicking Q. It makes it go down, which I think is pretty cool. And this does hurt the players a lot, and it even destroys terrain over there, as you can probably tell with the small little dents. And my personal favorite is having it fly off into the sunset is what I'm about to show you after this is reloaded. Reloaded. So you can go like that, boom. Flew into the sunset. I think it's amazing. Now I'm going to show you my new weapon. So you will now spawn with a musket and saber as the default. It's It will always spawn. I actually have a new saber model. As you can tell, it's way better and is a mesh instead of being parts as the old one was and we also have a new sword called the rapier which the spanish used but i decided to make it because why not we also have a new gun called the rifle this rifle has a scope and it has a little strap right here and you can actually aim with this thing and it has a different noise and it can shoot from far away and kill enemies instant instantly from no matter how how far you are but it does have a long reload that I'm actually just gonna quickly show you here come on yeah a pretty long reload we also have a new work in progress gun called the Deringer which is something that I've been working on that might not be in the game but it's basically just a very small flintlock and it's you can only shoot it once and once you shot it you can't reload it again so it's for emergencies only I would say now we actually have a new model for our axe. This axe looks pretty good, and even though it is a hand axe, it kind of does look like a sapper's axe as well. I also have the blunderbuss now working and looks way cooler than it was. So now it's pretty cool, and it's actually fixed because the blunderbuss did not work for a while. So, yeah, basically I remodeled most of our weapons and got three new weapons such as the Deringer, the rifle and the repeater so that is all cool and i have a new map so this place is a starter place and it will be the hosting of most of our events and it's not finished yet because i still have to decorate and add more trees so yeah what i'm gonna do now is work more on fort detroit so let's go do that shall we Okay, so the final thing that I did was I changed Fort Detroit's layout from just a simple box to a star-shaped bastion, just like this, or at least that's what it's called. So I'm going to show you around. So we have this giant gate right here. This is a work in progress, and it won't look like this final. But over here, we have some houses, such as the storage house or, or sorry this is not the storage house this is that regular house right here this is just a house where soldiers are here to stay usually called a century house now right here is the frame buildings that i forgot to show you earlier and i think it's pretty empty right now and it's based off my wild west game and right over here is the barracks that i showed you earlier as well and if we actually come over here Right over here, this is the actual powder house, and right here is the barracks that I'm going to show you in a little sec. So this is a real powder house right here, you can go right through it. And here is the fort firing platform, which does not have a ladder or a stairwell to go uh, up on there, because Fort Detroit's not finished yet. Even though I said that I would finish it, uh, I bit off more than I can chew yet again. So, yeah. Uh, so, it's not finished sadly but in the future there will be the flag right here there will be like a lookout there will be like a uh, little palisade uh, firing platforms all along here and there will be more buildings and there will be hedges decoration you know all that all the above so yeah now we're gonna get the final thing that i made other than that but this is just like a ground firing platform nothing too special but this little barracks right here is a two-story barracks now it looks weird because i did that intentional because this is not one gonna, it's not gonna look like this is just like for testing but i added a different type of window and inside is just it's literally just empty to be honest with you so yeah, i'm just gonna break out of this window because i feel like it but 
this little red thing right here is going to be the officer's quarter in the future and this black thing right here is going to be a copy and paste of the barracks right there but i am going to change the barracks so it's longer this way and it has more windows rooms and it's decorated but i'm not going to do that right now because i'm officially done with fort detroit i spent like a whole month doing it and i had enough i had enough all right so sorry i didn't keep my promise but Let's say thank you guys for watching this devlog. This one is a big improvement from my first devlog I did. I'm sorry I didn't fully finish Fort Detroit like I wanted to, but I made a lot of improvements. And next devlog, I will focus on weapons and crouching and making my game unique from other historical shooter games. I want to add an advanced gun system, an advanced fighting system, and fist fighting to my game. That's something to look forward to. Now, this may take a month or two, so I probably won't upload next month, but it's all good. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have an amazing day, and remember, guys, stay positive and be good people, and I'll see you all later.